Anyways, hey guys, welcome back. So this is just an April favorites. Um, so yeah, um, things I've been loving last month of April. Um, so if you guys want to see my April favorites, then just keep so. Watching. I'm gonna start off talking about bronzers because that's basically the whole thing, like my whole ordeal of this video. Um, so first, the bronzer I'm going to talk about is. The CoverGirl Queen Collection, the Oso Ebony Bronze, um, favorite of everyone's <laughs> bronzer. I had this bronzer before it became popular, to be honest. And this is what it looks like. I kind of don't want to even lift it up because it's so broken. And um, I don't want to spill it on my carpet because I'm going to be oh so pissed if I spill it on my carpet. So um, I'm not going to even open it, but yeah, Ebony Bronzer by CoverGirl. It's a really nice bronzer. I used it today to um, chisel out my face because I really wanted it nice and, you know, in depth and structured. So I went ahead and used that. And I also used something else. Um, I forgot who was telling me about this, but not me in particular, but she made a video on this. I think it was Pretty Glam. I forgot the numbers. I always forget the freaking numbers. But, yeah, I think it was her who made a video on if you want some a nice bronze face but you don't want any shimmer in it then just find a darker foundation and just use it as bronzer i believe it was her who said that in her video if not then let me know who you were and well you probably don't even know i watch you if you i don't know okay i'm just going all over so, the place. um yeah i seen that she was talking about if you wanted a bronzer but with no shimmer just use a darker a darker foundation so that's what I've just been using. I've been using a darker foundation liquid and a powder foundation as for my contour color. Not that one because I wouldn't use that. Like that's not a foundation. It's a bronzer. The bronzer I'm going to talk about, um, it's this one by CoverGirl. And I've really been loving this bronzer. It's so beautiful. And this is what it looks like. And it's in um, medium deep love this bronzer it's so pretty and it has no shimmers in it it's a foundation actually but i'm using it as a bronzer and i didn't use it today because i couldn't find it but um i've been using it in my other videos like my um that video when i had the blue on my eyes the, the current video i think i used it in that video yeah i think i used it in my current video i used it in my other videos that i've had before this one this is what i've been using as my contour color and i still need to make a video on how to contour and highlight i don't know why i haven't made one yet but i'm gonna get on that so yeah i'm gonna make a video um on that. as for bronzing as well i've been also using um i was watching candy johnson's video and she was saying to um you know have a nice flawless face she uses um sometimes she uses l'oreal true match and I've been using that as my contour uh, liquid foundation, and it's really, really nice. Um, so my, you guys all know that I use uh, my Maybelline True Match, um, True Match, my Maybelline Super Stay foundation, and this one's in caramel. And then I've been using the L'Oreal True Match in cocoa. So if you guys look at the com the colors side by side, you can only imagine what it looks like on my face and it looks really nice I have to do a separate foundation video because I've changed a lot of things in my foundation routine lately so and a lot of you guys have been commenting on my foundation so thank you glad you guys noticed I did do something different <laughs> anyway so um yeah if you want a natural looking bronzed face I would suggest you try a um, darker liquid foundation as well as a powder foundation but if you don't want to feel like you know you have a lot of products on then just use a liquid foundation followed by your everyday powder it's gonna look really nice and you're gonna have a really nice contour um as for my foundation i've been using this to set my powder oh my gosh to set my powder huh i've been using this powder to set my liquid foundation and this one's by make it forever i'm already hitting pan on it but i've had it for a while now so uh yeah and um it's in 214 i really love this it just makes me look nice and refreshed and it gives me a nice matte look but um i still look a little bit shiny it's just like a little glow i don't know if it it's not like an oily shiny it's just like a nice sheen that my that our faces have to them so 
it's not completely matte which I like because it doesn't look like cake based but it looks you know pretty so um I've been loving the hell out of my naked 2 palette oh my gosh love this and yes it's worth every bit of that $52 honey you better save up and buy this palette if you don't got it like that better save up for it because um that's what I had to do it took me forever to get it but I got it um <laughs> not trying to sound like you know I have to I have to <laughs> I have to you know explain myself more often in videos so I'm gonna go ahead and do that anyway so been loving the hell out of my Naked 2 palette and um as for my makeup today I just used blackout for the lid and then for my crease color I just used the chocolate brown and then um vanity palette the darkest brown I used that one for my um, crease color and that's basically it and then I just did some um, liner on my waterline and some corner lashes so very 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 easy um, I just watched um, Guatemalan Hot Mama 1 her video and I loved her makeup so I have to you know I have to copy her so I did my own um, my own take on it so I did my own take on it um, it's just chocolate brown in the corner I mean in the crease and then black on the lid so um and then I did um what color did I use in the tear duct I used the verve in the tear duct and that one's this one I freaking love this color so pretty so shimmery and it's so perfect okay so I'm loving that naked palette and oh yeah um as for my concealer um as for my concealer I've been using this um elf primer no, I have not been using this as concealer. I've been using this to prime my under eye for my concealer. When I use when I do my concealer, um, it never creases anymore, um, and it lasts all day. And that's what you want. You don't want your concealer to crease. You want to set it nice, even if it feels a little heavy underneath your eyes. You still need to set, set that concealer because if you don't, then it's going to crease up. There's no point of you, you know, wasting all that time trying to blend and pad and all that stuff if you're going to just let your concealer crease. So I. I have a process on how I keep <laughs> oh my goodness okay. how I keep my concealer from creasing so I have to make a separate video on that so I can show you guys how I prevent that um, but yeah so I use this underneath my concealer whenever I remember and then whenever I use this it you know it lasts a long time even without this it, may, it lasts for a long time but this just is just that extra you know that extra um for your concealer as for um, setting powders I've been loving this um, elf high death powder I already talked about it in my current video um, yeah I really love it and if you don't have it you should go buy it <laughs> been loving this um, NYC smooth skin face powder I've been loving this for a very long time now and um, it's a naturally beige 742a um, although it does have semi-color to it, it's still translucent for the most part. And I use this to set my concealer and it does not go anywhere. I've been using this for years now and it's really nice. It just, you know, gives you like that nice little bright under eye look. And, um, yeah, it sets my concealer pretty good. I was going to cuss there, but, you know, I'm trying to sit out. So, you, what I use to set my concealer with, though, I use, um, cosmetic wedges I use these because the tip of it is so thick you know I just soak my little the tip of it in there and then I just look up and then I press it in there to just you know make sure it's all the way in there and my concealer doesn't crease it doesn't move anywhere so I have to do a separate video on how I prevent my concealer from creasing for those who's having trouble you know with creasage so that concludes my haul oh my gosh my haul I am not <laughs> I'm not focused today that can I was gonna say that concedes <laughs> conceals that concludes my April favorites okay that concludes my April favorites I hope you guys like it um, let me know what you guys think down below and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys and you guys see me soon bye